Uh oh. Yeah, watch out. That's, um, I wonder if that's enough ice statues. Could we have more? I like how all the bad things are held in place by the ice statue. Probably at this depth they should be... Well, I guess the problem is that they'll just... You're, you're not gonna... You're never gonna be able to really fight them at the same time because there's nothing that forces the player to, like, stay in view of the ice statues. You have to design it so that... I really like that one because it's just it's kind of catchy and then it goes on for like five minutes of that Glowing greatsword, though. Well, now. The official theme song of the... of uh, Lehudib's moon base. I got another backup sword that's better than my current backup sword. But I didn't really get too much. Which is expected. Um, all the entrances to this. Lightning rod. 
not gonna be too hot with uh, with not a lot of Evo. Another ornate de deck of escape. God damn it, Nem. I'm still drained. That's funny. Stand still. Okay, that did it. Once again, Katoble. And uh, Neil made a patch to make a spell that would like summon Katoble. It was like Earth Summons, but I worry. Oh, hey, first time Wanda Scattershot, nice. Fortunately, we've uh, attracted the attention of everyone here. Good old Katoble.
Yeah, this is when I see people like you. I'm kind of in a dangerous spot because I'm letting my HP kind of get down. Those uh, high priests can turn out a surprising amount of damage because of Hellfire and because of Smite. Sounds like you have your next stream planned out, BML. Maybe it's time you take up the mantle. Crawl meme streaming. Oh. He's one of those CPO players. No wonder he's so weird. I had to make a special note in the trunk update telling reminding Australians not to try to wrestle alligators I just felt like it was a P it was just a good time for a P at public service announcement for their own safety please do not attempt to wrestle dangerous reptiles dangerous mammals any kind of dangerous animal Don't try to punch a kangaroo, even if you think you can take him. Yeah, it was alligators, but... Which I guess, maybe they have crocs and not alligators. There's probably alligators, some kind of alligator somewhere. Thank you for the follow. I think that's... I don't know if that's an I or an L. LKE blue. On Anzac Day. I don't know what Anzac Day is. And I don't think my post was actually on that. Because you said that like the day before too. It can't. Is it like a week long holiday or something? This is like not the most amazing setup just in general. Hello. Would you look at this? That would be fun to wear. It's missing about 6 AC. Oh, I see Veterans Day. Is that become like excuse to get drunk day or is that like really a serious solemn holiday? <laughs> yeah, you might be right about that, doesn't? Yeah, I don't really have, if I take off this ring, I guess my strength does kind of get close to it, but it's not going to, I would need like some other buffs, kind of. Like the whole spiel of like benefiting from it when I can't even cast spells in it in plus three. I'd be more enthused about it if if it had full enchantment to be honest. It's like essentially it's just crappy crystal plate. What am I getting? Ten plus ten twenty. It's like total Total AC it grants is 22, which is only two higher than what I've got, but it's going to be a massive nerf to EV. With the armor skill, it's going to, it will be improved because I've got like, I'll probably have like 22. What is it? One every, it's one point. Oh, it's like base AC divided by 22. So you would get a full base AC on top. Yeah, so it's like only gonna be about six more because of the fact that it's not fully enchanted. If it were fully, in if it were a plus 14, it would actually be um, 12 more.
Katoble, welcome. Uh... Okay, so I guess that is an L. Welcome, LKE. It's it's a meme. It's an Austra Apparently, it's an Australian meme because the Australians are memeing about it. It's just where you like you know Katoble is a summon from these Nem cards that pops up from the ornate decks in particular, I think. Although it might show up for a legendary deck too, and they're just like kind of nice summons because they'll uh, their petrify breath will petrify monsters a lot, but they'll also petrify your own summons. So it's and they could they can also get summoned in hostile. Speaking of which, uh, I'm not going to train any summoning, so forget it. Night night elm. Yeah, this, I don't really have the strength. I mean, if I take off this ring, I will be very close to what I need, but at the same time, it's it's just really not worth it. The, I have less strength than what I might because of this ring that I'm wearing, which gives me both RF and MR, which is just convenient. Actually, I can kill hold this too. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Blew him up. Do I got? I don't have a lot of haste. Uh, the new Nils um, I, I think some people liked it. I don't really like the approach that it takes to do what it tries to do because it it's not it's not really all that effective at it. It's also kind of more micromanagey. You have to like watch your skills, like every level, and crap like that. The idea doesn't sound like uh, too bad, but um, we'll have to see. Uh, it's trying to really force you into uh, hybridizing a lot. Um, the thing is that it, you know, the game already gives you so many incentives to trade, train a good number of skills. So what this is doing is trying to nudge you a bit more, but. The idea behind the design was supposed to be something a little bit more like hard and fast, like, you know, Formicids, you are not teleporting, you are not hasting, you are not doing those things, period. Whereas this species is like, oh yeah, you're, you're pushed to hybridize, but it doesn't prevent you from not hybridizing and winning effectively, it doesn't, um, it doesn't uniquely push you to hybridize in a way that's really different than what you already want to do. 
and it, it adds all these essentially all these breakpoints for you to micromanage. The the core idea of really like forcing the player to train a lot of skills is, is maybe something that's that's cool. Um, but the way it goes about it, I'm personally not a huge fan of. Yeah, it used to have a hard skill cap. That was generally a more effective way to do what it was trying to do, although still not really effective because you can win pretty easily with a lot of... Um, well, originally it was a little bit confused as what the design of the species was trying to be. Like, it was first talked about like, oh, well, this is supposed to be easy early and hard later. Um, but then... There were some people who sort of thought that was the design, but Flood Killers kind of like settled on the idea that, okay, what this species is about is saying that you need to hybridize in order to survive. So it may, anyway, regardless of what you think about that, it might get some, it might get some uh, big changes or even a rework. We're not sure if it's actually going to be enabled in uh, 0.20 when we do the release. If I were to play um, this species, like, I could play a really conventional character and win very comfortably if I just used a one-handed weapon, used a shield, trained evocations to like, you know, 12, invocations to 10, and then dumped, uh, you know, sufficient skill to get um, into low teens, mid-teens, and you would just win a really conventional easy character. No, it's plus four. It starts you with plus four, and then the um, the skills drop starting at skill level seven. As you're training from seven to eight, I think the skill, the aptitude, is dropped down to plus two. And every new level of skill you reach, it drop the aptitude drops two more, and it it bottoms out at minus six. Uh, but he just pushed a bunch of changes into a branch, which I, I haven't looked at myself. Well, the design of Deep Elf has nothing to do about hybridization, though. See, the the design of Deep Elf is, say, you want to tra train a lot of magic skills. And it, I think, achieves that design. I mean, it, the design of Deep Elf is kind of a mix of things, because Deep Elf is a really weak species, because its HP is low. So exactly what its design is could, I guess, be a little bit tricky. I guess you could say Magic Glass Cannon is the design of Deep Elf. The question is, does it actually um, push you pretty hard to be a mas uh, magic glass cannon? And mm, it it pushes you. It, it maybe doesn't do a good job as much of a good job as you want. ZXC, for instance, thinks that like any deep elf of a has to go get firestorm to have like optimal win rate. But I I think actually like a a pretty optimal deep elf would would actually be uh, wearing some armor, would be stopping their stopping their high-level spells well before level 9, for instance. So no, Crawl doesn't really like perfectly achieve that design or anything. So there's sort of like two basic issues. How much is it really making you hybridize, and how much annoying micromanagement does it have? If it can kind of like improve both of those aspects some, then it can probably um, become, you know, like a stable release species, I think. Yeah, but the the if you think about what um Nulls are doing is they're giving you these crazy aptitudes that make your early game really really good and oops there's a trade-off you really got to push into all these different skills but um, it's not really like a deep elf where you, you are actually a really crappy species to start out with it's a little bit hard to talk about how well they achieve their design if you um, if you don't ignore the if you ignore how 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 weak or how strong the different species are and unfortunately deep elves are a really weak species 
how would Asha? The same way, I think Asha's skill levels do go through aptitudes, though. So there is an interaction. But for Oka, it's by skill level increase for hero. So it just increases it. So Oka is better in that regard. He has a new pull request branch. I have to find out. Maybe I should just link it really quick. Doot, 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 doot. Oh crap, my scroll back doesn't go. Here, I can find it. Yeah, I I would uh that would be that would be a problem. Ooh, there's a lot of nice discussion in this PR. <laughs> it's quite a bit. I shall link it. This is the branch with his changes, which has um, fearsome bark ability that he's adding. He's changing the SID, and then he's adjusting the EXP table, which I have. I'm not going to click and read the commit to see what it is. Yeah, I mean, MPA has sort of a pretty good response to this in his PR. Anyway, I'll let you guys uh, read it, but yeah, there's some good discussion about that. And yeah, it's a problem with current crawl, definitely. Minus nine. Yeah, I don't think the ish I don't think the core complain about like is it really doing what it's setting out to do is really necessarily going to be addressed by like tweaking the XP table so much, but he's trying that approach. Yeah, MPA is really good at like level headed balance changes. dare you shoot my my ghost friend he's my friend but again the basic notion behind the species is a cool one um, there are problems too with the the sense item thing in terms of how weird it is with auto explore those might be fixable though <laughs> <laughs> 